Hi everybody, it is Stephanie again, and I'm not going to talk about anything Huntington's today. I have a huge praise report I had to tell you guys, because you guys all know about how my foot has been giving me so much trouble. Um, and you guys know I love to walk, and that's my time I usually worship and pray, and I haven't been able to do that very much or at least in a lot of pain. Um, so today um, I was, I had been at prayer, uh, Melinda's prayer on Monday morning, I was there and um, I had gone to the store after and my foot was like, I had the bandage on it and it just was like not wanting the bandage on it anymore. So I took the bandage off and was just in the boot um, and then I was like, you know what, I just feel like I'm supposed to try to walk without the boot or the bandage and see how it goes. So I just had my sandals on and I just walked for a mile, 1.7 miles and was able to do it at a pretty good speed and only just barely like towards the last quarter of a mile could I actually feel my foot. Um, but I'm like 90, 95%. Uh, healed, I would say, um, it's, but it's, I just found out that Connor is going to be coming early, um, May 24th, he's going to be here, and that was going to, I was just like, oh, it's going to be hard if I can't walk around and be able to help take care of him, so God healing my foot is like, he knew what, that is really what I need, so I'm just so excited, I had to share that with you guys, and of course the devotional goes right with that, um, but the song that was playing um, on my, um, the music I have on my phone, uh, Hillsong United, uh, I just kept playing, um, hold on, I wrote it down, um, Touch the Sky is that song, uh, and it was, um, yes, I'm gonna have it on there for you guys, it was like just perfect, because it's like what God is doing in this greatness and anyway it's a great song and i know you guys will be blessed by it so let me read um so the title of it is eyes to see how great is the goodness and how great is his beauty zechariah 9 17. just now i have been seeing something of the beauty in god and in his lovely flowers but the Lord of beauty is more beautiful still, for he has created the flowers. In one of the apocryphal books, it is written, Go your way and see beauty and greatness as much as your eyes are able to see. The one speaking was referring to the beauty of the great walls, oh, great walls palaces, and temple courts of Jerusalem. But the words come to me, often with deeper meanings, as much of your eyes are able to see. How much are I, our eyes able to see our Lord Jesus? I have watched people looking through a microscope. Some glance for a moment, then shrug and move away. They have seen nothing. Others look for two or three seconds and say how amazing or how beautiful. They too move away, having seen more, but not much more. It is only as we look and look and look that we really see. And the more we know of the object we are looking at, the more we see in it. Paul speaks of the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus, our Lord, for though, whose sake I lost all things. He was willing to lose all things and to keep looking and looking and looking into Christ so that he might know him better. How much are we willing to lose that we may not know and be able to see? It is the eye in you and me that blinds our eyes. The loss of eye that I may know him, see him and with a new clearness in all creation. Even in souls that are unmovable and unbeautiful, may the Lord grant this to us all. I want more and more to see his goodness and his beauty, not vaguely, nor just from time to time. I want to see him truly, continually in his work, in those who love him, to, in his book, in himself, and at the prayer. 
Our Father, this moment we push aside the sense of need, every request, each complaint, even words of praise or worship, just to sit down silent, to turn the eyes of our soul to you, to look deep into your wonders. So that was a nice short one, but I just had to share that with you guys all. And uh, we now have 101 subscribers, so God just keeps drawing the people in who really um, need this, you know, time of encouragement and truth. So um, I hope you guys are blessed. I know I am. And keep praying for that last 5%. I'll talk when I have more to say.